So when you fall in love, it often leads to having these little treasures we call children. <laughs> and when you have kids, you want to you want to invest in their lives. And Pam and I like to say you want to put your trademark on your children. T M. Mm -hmm. And you want to do that um, because the psalm says it, it says one generation will commend your works to another. So it's natural for us to pass on to the next generation what we have learned. So how do you do that? What is a trademark on your kids? So the T stands for traditions. Those are things you do year after year after year. They're built into your family system. And you want to look for traditions that you believe in and that have meaning to you. For example, we always bless our kids every Christmas. Uh, that means that we put our hands on them, we pray over them, and we affirm who we see God creating them to become. We bring out and we call out the best, that po God-given potential. And then on our kids' birthdays, we raised three sons. So every year on their birthday, they got to choose wherever they wanted to go for dinner. Because, you know, food and boys, th oh, those are big priorities <laughs> with one another. So we let them have those opportunities. And then we have always had a habit of praying over meals, and we would rotate having the kids pray along with us. So those are traditions that you build into your family system that reflect your values. Then memories, that's the M of trademark. And memories are those well, once in a while kind of things. Uh, for example, uh, maybe the yearly father-son trip that Bill took or the rite of passage that we do when our kids are about 18 years old. Right, and the difference between those, the, the father-son trips were informal trips to build character. So I would take the kids to some place where you couldn't plug anything in and a place where mom would be uncomfortable. And then while we were there, we would have all of the kids take turns praying over meals and we would have the kids take turns. What did God teach you in this last year that you would like to share with the rest of us? And it was all informal and it was built around boating and fishing and rock climbing and things that boys like to do. Where another one, the rite of passage, um, that happened when they're anywhere from between 18 and 21. And we wanted it to connect up to the personality of that child. For example, our oldest son, Brock, was a quarterback. So we invited all of his mentors, his coaches, um, to walk the field with him and share what it meant to be a man and compliment and call out the godly male characteristics and how you're going to forge forward in life. And our middle son, his truck was really important to him. So we went to an indoor racetrack and our youngest son loved mountain climbing. So we did a climb into man manhood. And the point is we wanted to give them a memory that would linger for their life and remind them of what's important. So take time to put your trademark on your kids.